hey guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be filming you a christmas wish list for 2020 so yeah i'm very excited to be filming this video i filmed one last year and you all seem to love it so i thought i would bring it back and do one this year so i have my list on my phone obviously i feel like everyone says this but i am not asking for everything on this list like at all these are just ideas for me to give to my family so that they have a little idea of what to get me because my mum and dad always ask for a list from us from me and my brother so i'm just gonna get into it they are in a random order I did try and put them into categories, it didn't really work because I don't really have categories for half the things. But yeah, we're just gonna get into it. The first thing on my Christmas wish list is an Amazon skylight. I don't actually know what they're called, but I just call it an Amazon skylight because it's like the thing that lights up your roof, like purpley blue, like it looks like a sky, obviously, skylight. But yeah, I think they're so pretty and purple is like my favorite color and they, they're usually like purple or navy. The next thing that I'm going to be asking for is an iPad case and a screen protector for my iPad. That might sound really boring. I want one of the cases where you can fit your Apple Pencil into the case so that it can charge because I have to take my case off to charge my Apple Pencil. And also I want this like a matte screen protector because apparently it's really nice to draw in because it feels like paper. The next two things are kind of like skincare bits. Actually I've not really asked for any skincare. I usually do because I'm always trying to find things to clear up my skin because nothing ever works. So the two things that I do have on here um, are the ordinary, is it a face mask? Oh my god I should have researched these things before I actually try and ask for them because I don't know what half the things are called but it's like in a little red thing and it like dries on your face i think i don't really know everyone uses it and it's sold out all the time but i don't actually know what it's called but i will insert a picture here apparently it's really good for your skin so i want to try it and then the other thing is a function of beauty shampoo and conditioner i really want to get my hair really nice because i just think that'll make me feel so much better you can like do a little personalized quiz to make sure it's all right for your hair so i think that's pretty cool i'm sure you all know what it is because every single youtuber does it as an ad dream collab by the way a function of beauty watching this Hi. The next thing, I would love to go to see a dermatologist, but I don't think you can get them on the NHS. I think you have to pay for it privately, or I'd love to just go and get like microneedling or some some form of like scar removal. My cousin was saying that she got micro microneedling and said it was really good. I would love to go and get that or a um, chemical peel or something like that, but they can be pretty expensive, so I'm asking for that for Christmas. The next thing is wall prints. So if you don't know, about I think it was two years ago for Christmas, my parents parents redid my room. They got me like this matte print for my wall and I absolutely love it but I am slightly bored of it now. I just want, I'm just one of them people that wants to change all the time in my room so I'm gonna ask for some prints. I really would like to get them from like small businesses. I'd love to just get some prints from small businesses. As you can see these ones actually up here from Ellie Williams Studio on Instagram. The next three things are like jewellery related. One of them is pretty big thing to ask for. I do not expect this at all. Also if I trusted myself not to lose it to be honest like I don't know if I trust myself. The Dior ring I'll put a picture of it up here. I seen KCJ had it and I'd never seen it before then and when I see it I was like I would absolutely love this Dior ring but it's super expensive. I would I would actually cry if I got it. I, I'm asking for that but I do not expect it. Right so the next thing I just put is jewellery in general like earrings, rings, necklaces, like literally any jewellery. I love receiving jewellery. Not like brand or anything just like any jewelry from primark even like anywhere so yeah i just love a bit of jewelry and i've had the same two rings one i got for my like 15th birthday and the other i got last year for christmas i think the both pandora and rose gold and i would love to add them in my little collection so the next thing that i'm asking for is a vivian westwood fake pearl necklace so it's like a pearl necklace with the little vivian westwood charm it's one of them things where i like wouldn't just five buy it for myself for no reason next thing i am asking for is nike jordans this is actually going to be like my main present i'm asking for just because i really want some new shoes i literally only wear my nike air forces i would love some new shoes and i love the nike jordans even though they are quite similar to air forces anyway but oh my god I love them and just like in the grey colour. Okay the next thing I'm asking for is ASOS slippers. That might sound really random. I'm sure you've seen these like style of slippers where it's like they're like fuzzy and they're kind of like siders but they have like the little sling back at the back and apparently they're really really comfy because they're fluffy as well. I'm asking for slippers anyway but preferably those ones because they look so nice. The next thing is a shoulder bag. I don't have like a specific one. Obviously I have a dream bag, but I do not want anyone to get it for me. This might sound really random. So I really want the Prada, right. I really want this bag, but I don't even know the name of it. 
I do know the name, but it's just gone out of my head. But I'm sure you know which one I'm on about. It's like a shoulder bag. I absolutely love that bag. And I think it's about 900 pounds. Obviously really expensive. For a few years now, I've wanted to like actually be able to buy myself like my dream bag. It was a Dior bag that was way over 900 pounds, but now it is this Prada one. And I want to buy that myself once I feel like I can. So yeah, I'm excited to do that one day, but I don't want anyone to buy it for me because I want to do that myself, if that makes sense. It might sound weird, but I just want to, I just want the achievement of buying myself a designer bag. That was a massive sidetrack because I don't even want that for Christmas. Um, I want a shoulder bag, like just a black one or a nude one, I'm not sure. Don't really matter about the brand, like at all, like literally from anywhere. I just love the look of shoulder bags. I do have one that I got thrifted in a charity shop that's quite thin and small so i can't really fit much in it so yeah i'm asking for one of those okay the next thing i'm asking for i'm pretty sure loads of people ask for this for christmas but i really want some new pajamas like maybe a couple of pairs of new pajamas oh my god there's nothing better than new pajamas is them again like literally from anywhere i don't have any specific in my mind okay the next one is right i would love to ask for clothes for christmas but i am quite fussy i'm very fussy with what i like and it's so weird because i'm not like basic as such like i do like basic things as well but i do wear some out there things i don't know i'm just fussy with clothes i'm just very I'm very weird so i'm Asking for clothes gift cards or money for clothes maybe. The next two things are plain hoodies and bralettes. I was only saying this on my Instagram live this morning while I was getting ready. Um, I used to live in my dressing gown, house coat, whatever you want to say. I do call it house coat, but I've just said dressing gown so that I didn't offend anyone because I know people get very offended when you call it a house coat. But anyway, so yeah, I used to live in that like all day and it would make me feel really unmotivated because obviously it's kind of like pajamas. Um, I would be like completely dressed underneath, but I just put it on to be warm. So I've started wearing like hoodies and sweatshirts instead. And it definitely makes me feel a bit more motivated than wearing my dressing gown in the house. And then bralettes. Who doesn't want a bralette? Like they're so comfy. Okay, the next two are kind of like food related. So I am going to ask for, this might sound super random, I'm going to ask for a big box of like loads of vegan sweets and chocolates and biscuits and just like sweet chocolate things uh, sweet chocolate things sweet vegan things because i don't know what it is but over lockdown i have really been struggling to find vegan like sweets and chocolate i think it's just genuinely because i've forgotten what is in the shops i still haven't really been to shops yet um so i think i've just genuinely forgot what i used to get that would be absolutely amazing if i got that so i'm gonna be asking for that it might sound super random to people but that would be my dream present. Oh yeah, this is my main present that I'm asking for. So this might sound so random to ask for for Christmas, but I wanna get Invisalign. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> but I'm really not happy with my teeth. I wanna get them whitened and I want Invisalign. Um, I don't know why, but like recently I've been feeling really like self-conscious about my teeth, my jawline. I've always hated my jawline, but like I need a retainer to fix like the overbite and stuff like that. So I would just love to get Invisalign. Well, not actually Invisalign because that's way too expensive. Like the, I'd just love to get clear aligners and it's obviously quite a big present. So again, I'm not expecting it. And one day I will hopefully be able to save up for it myself if I don't get it for Christmas. The next present. Okay, we're actually down to the last two presents. The last two presents are a new duvet cover, like bedding set. I love the one that i have now like i have a few at the minute that i'm going between i just wanted a bit, a bit of change i think i want to get a white like plain white but like with frills on it or something i just want white no, no pattern just for a bit of a change to see if i like it and then i just love another one that's like pink and white a different pattern because my room is like pink and white themed i'd love a duvet cover and maybe some new pillows i don't know i love getting new little room decor bits but yeah and then the last present i would love a bullet journal Sorry, my earring's been really like, you know your earring feels like really itchy? Well, not obviously my earring, but like the place where my earring goes. I am so unorganized. And now that I've got like my small business, which is going quite well, and I do need to get like proper organized for it. I can't just remember the orders off the top of my head. I want to get organized in my um, bullet journal. And also you can like track your money, like your spending and stuff. I would love to receive that. I would love to receive any of these presents. 
But yeah, that is the last present I'm going to be asking for. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. And I hope you got some ideas for your Christmas wish list. And hopefully Christmas will not be completely cancelled. Let's all pray that Christmas is still going to be a little bit of fun at least. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!